lovely Sonia Ray from Sterling Results Fitness Club. So Sonia, for everybody who doesn't know you, how did you get to the position you're in today? Hi Ange, and hello everyone. It's so nice to be here and talking to Ange on her couch. Um, Sterling Results Fitness Club came about because I had been in the industry for the corporate IT industry for 30 odd years and after hitting that imaginary glass ceiling, as in someone else put it up there, um, it was time to get out. So while walking to the gym one day, I came up with an idea that maybe uh, there's something I could do and there's something I could offer people. So I uh, cre went and did some fitness courses, looked at some challenged areas and created Sterling Results Fitness Club. Okay, and so for people who don't know you, um, give a brief description of what your business is about. So uh, my tagline is, that Sturdy Results Fitness Clubs focuses on those who are or who want to be fit, fabulous and over 50. So <laughs> we, uh, we focus on personal training, personal strength training, plus I have a range of programs that include hike fit, golf fit, stay fit and trek fit. Wow, there's a few there and I've actually been personally on um, Sonia's hike fit program and then on a tour with Sonia which, to Tassie, which was fantastic. So what was your motivation for getting started besides the glass ceiling? What else yeah. was going on for you? Look, what happened after that, um, like, do I leave the corporate industry, was it made me reflect on my hobby. And my hobby at that point was, and it still is, was climbing high altitude mountains. And one of the things about climbing a mountain is that as much as it's exhilarating, you see a lot of people who um, struggle to get to the top. So what you want is an ability to get to the top of the mountain and feel fantastic. But what a lot of people do is they struggle to get there. So they're getting up there and they're feeling terrible. Mm -hmm. So I thought maybe I could help people feel fabulous about achieving that milestone. And the way to do that and to help people train was to go off and get my certs and create a fitness business. So I have two businesses. One is Sterling Results Fitness Club and the other is Trekking Adventures. So not only do I train you to be fit, but I can take you on the trek of a lifetime. So why does that mean so much to you? In your experience, what have you seen um, in that realm? Look, I think I've seen a couple of things. One is, um, I remember climbing Mount Kilimanjaro, and as we were coming down, just watching people drag, being dragged up. How can you experience the top of a 6,000 metre mountain that's taken you eight days to climb, but actually be dragged up by porters just because you need to get to the top? There's no self-exhilaration, <laughs> no joy in that. Um, I remember going to Nepal on a 25-day trek climbing Mira Peak, and the first day I saw these English guys that were part of my team, and after 24 hours, that's seven hours of walking, so the first 24 hours, they turned around and walked out and went home, back to England. Oh, dear. They weren't prepared. Outcome. They weren't mentally prepared, physically prepared, or packing prepared. So they hadn't even had all their own kit and stuff. So, you know, the idea is that uh, with my Trek Fit program is to train people to be Trek Fit, mm -hmm. plus physical and mental preparation and pack preparation so that um, when you go on one of these adventures, you're totally ready for it. You have a whole 360 degree perspective. I know what I'm taking, I know what clothes I'm wearing, I know what food I'm having, I know how fit I should be, a whole package. Yep, no, that's good. And, I, and Sonia's very good at getting everything organized with that. So what's the one thing that many people don't know about you and what do you do for fun? Um, well, one thing they don't know about me is that sometimes I like to sing quietly, so I'm a little bit known to go when I've had a glass or two of wine to um, sing too much in high operatic soprano voice. Ouch. <laughs> and uh, one thing that uh, I really love doing when I'm not out hiking, and I absolutely adore my hike fit program and hiking, is I love a round of golf. So I think that's a great... Um, uh, opportunity to be self-focused because you're challenging yourself plus it's a team sport because you're actually often in a golf team with other people or you're playing with other people so it's both uh, a self um, uh, challenge plus it's a team sport true true and you're very good at golf as well I do like my golf um, so what is one thing that you think everybody can do to improve their health can I say two things? You can say two. Two things. A, we all should and we all need to walk our 10,000 steps a day. Yeah. So simple. And secondly, let's eat a nice wide variety of healthy foods and that's Perfect. where you're the expert. Perfect. Um, so what is your definition of health? Um, I think when you look at the definition of health, I think um, uh, it's, about being, it's about having no illness and no injury. Mm -hmm. 
I think health is broader than that. And um, my definition might be it's feeling complete. Mm -hmm. So what does complete mean? So um, let's think about that. You're, um, you, you are healthy, as in you don't have any aches and pains, yep. okay? Yep. You're feeling um, uh, like you're having a good nutrition diet, so you're actually feeling like your internals are great. Your bodily functions are working yes. uh, Perfect. perfectly. Yeah. Uh, your mind is in a good state, so you're mentally in a good state. You're probably low in stress, so you're not going to be too stressed if you're healthy. So um, low stress, uh, good health as in food, as in bodily functions, um, good mindset. And I added two other thoughts in, and one was having compassion and care for others. Mm -hmm. I think if you're, if you're, the definition of health, if you're healthy, you're not only care for yourself, actually you care for others. Yeah, it's good. And do you think that it's uh, important to get the community involved in, in where you're going and what you're doing? With? Look, I think what is lovely, especially with my Hike Fit programs, is that it is a group-based program. Mm -hmm. And what I see is a lot of camaraderie, yeah. a lot of conversation, um, and a lot of people that come together and share ideas. And again, compassion comes into that because you're walking with different people that you may not be best friends with the first yep. time you've met them. Yep. So you have a great conversation, you're meeting lots of interesting people, but you're also thinking about how their walk is going, how their hike is mm -hmm. going. Um, you know, we care for all of our communities, so some of my people might um, have bad ankles, you know, maybe a bit under the, find the trails a little bit undulating for their legs and their knees, but we all just care about that. We make sure they're getting up and down those rocks easily. Yeah. Um, others might have an asthma issue or a heart issue, so going up those hills can be tough, but we make sure we all walk together and yeah. support each other. Good. So in fact, the community is important because it brings us together and the great friendships that are formed through the, the trekking tours and the Hike Fit program have been wonderful. Yeah, good, good. And that's a really positive thing for the whole of the community to happen. So for Sonia Ray, what's next? Well, for Sterling Results Fitness Club, there is a serious amount of growth. Yep. Um, we are looking at new premises because um, I'm, I'm seeing the growth in, in what we're doing. I'm looking for new trainers and I'm, I'm being interviewing for new trainers currently. Yep. I'm hoping to add on more Hike Fit programs. Currently, they're on Saturday and Sunday. So I'm hoping to add on a few more sessions of those during the week. Um, I also um, have three treks planned for this year. So I'm taking a full group through Trekking Adventures to Peru in July, which is going to be so exciting. We're climbing uh, through the Andes into Machu Picchu. And then I take in October a group to Nepal, yep. and uh, we're going to go to the Annapurna region. It's a 14-day trek, an 18-day adventure, and it sees a beautiful area of the Annapurnas, and you can start training now for that. Um, and also back to Tasmania because the uh, Tasmania Peninsula has some beautiful scenery and a lot of people just want a nice little escape here in Australia. Um, so there are my three major tours this year, plus there'll be a few weekend ones like the six foot track and Mount Kosciuszko that I'd like to throw in as well. Mm -hmm. So there's a whole bunch of treks that are coming forward plus the extension of the Hike Fit program plus the personal training studio will grow. So I think it's a big year. I think you're right. Sounds like a big year. Uh, and in Tasmania, going to Tasmania, Sonia has lots of add-ons which really make um, the adventure worthwhile. So, Sonia, where are you located and how can people um, get in contact with you, with you or follow you? Yeah. So, our gym is in Lower North Shore. It's in Willoughby. It's a very private studio. Um, all the hikes occur on the North Shore because that's where our national parks are. So, um, they're, they're out in the open, so rather than a location. But the best thing to do is follow us on Facebook. So it, uh, the handle is SR Fitness Club. You can also find Trekking Adventures handle at Trekking Adventures. Our website is srfitnessclub.com.au. From there, you can bounce into Trekking Adventures. Um, and Twitter and um, Instagram. So Instagram, I've been trying to follow Angela's example and, and post more. <laughs> And again, um, my handle for Instagram is Sonia SRFC, SRFC for Sterling Results Fitness Club, and Sonia Trekking. Wow. Okay, so thanks, Sonia, for today. A fantastic interview. Great to find out about your take on fitness and, and health and all of that sort of stuff. And it's Anne Sinclair from Digestive Detective, and we'll see you next time on the couch. Thanks, thanks Anne. Bye.